welcome back to in the kitchen with grace today i am doing apple pecan rosemary chicken salad to do croissant style sandwiches this weekend uh, if you're new welcome we do lots of easy homemade recipes that your family would love everything from breakfast lunch dinner side dishes desserts get togethers you name it we've got it um firm believer in using fresh i love to garden and bring the items in from our garden into the food we cook in our kitchen. So today I have two chicken breasts that I cooked in the slow cooker yesterday. I did Parmesan garlic herb seasoning on them. And so they are fully cooked. I let them sit overnight. <clears throat> and then I chopped up the chicken and shredded it this morning. So this chicken is cold and it is fully cooked. Now, a lot of people like to just go grab rotisserie chicken and I'm a firm believer that that does not taste the same as when you make your chicken for chicken salad in the, the slow cooker. It's totally different taste and texture, I feel like. So I'm gonna grab a small bowl here. Um, we are gonna put all of the ingredients and the directions in the description below for you. So sit back and enjoy this recipe. Um, I'm going to start with the dressing. And we are gonna do two tablespoons of mayo. And I'm actually gonna eyeball it because my mayo is getting low here and my little tablespoon ain't gonna get down in there. So maybe one, two, let me get just a little bit more mayo here. There we go. And we're gonna use yogurt. I actually had some vanilla yogurt um, that I was gonna use for this recipe sitting in my fridge and my daughter ended up taking it and eating it for one of her cold lunches. So I'm improvising you guys. I have a black cherry wee yogurt. Uh, but the fruit's all at the bottom, and so I'm going to grab the yogurt off the top, and then I'll just eat the rest of it here in a little bit. Use what you have on hand. Um, when it comes to making chicken salad, you guys, I have used all sorts of flavored yogurt. Peach, strawberry, vanilla, lemon, it doesn't matter. It actually just kind of goes really well with your chicken salad. Um, and we want to use about a half a cup. Top of the yogurt here, which is literally about a half a cup. Because we're putting cranberries into this chicken salad, the fact that the yogurt is a little cherry and a little pink actually just works perfectly. Um, actually, I could totally just add the cherry right on in. Um, we are going to do a little bit of red wine vinegar. I actually don't have red wine vinegar. I've got some balsamic vinegar. I'm going to use that instead. So um, it will give you the same kind of taste for the most part and we want one tablespoon of that throw that in there i'm gonna do one teaspoon of dijon mustard um if you want a plain classic chicken salad recipe i've got an amazing one i will link to that above and also in the description uh, if you love pickles, a little tanginess, I have a dill pickle chicken salad that's pretty tasty. We'll link to that one as well. Love sandwiches in our household. Uh, we do tea sandwiches, egg salad sandwiches, ham salad sandwiches, you name it. Um, I just did a baked ham and cheese with hot honey croissant sandwich earlier this week for a dinner, quick dinner. Um, let's see, we are going to do some honey. We're going to do about a half a teaspoon. I never use the measuring spoons when I'm doing honey. Honey's just sticky. It just takes a little bit. I'm gonna grab my onion powder. Brand new container here. And we're gonna just pour it into, you want about half a teaspoon. So that was my teaspoon there. So we're just gonna kind of do that. You could just sprinkle it in. You don't even need to measure. Doesn't take a whole lot. I want a little salt and pepper. Just a sprinkle. Uh, with it being fall, the start of fall, we're all into the fall flavors. Pecans and nuts and cranberries, apples, apple everything. We're gonna get to the apple here in a minute. I'm gonna mix this together. There is no added sugar to this chicken salad because we're going to use fresh apple and it's got plenty of natural sugars. 
we have a couple of apple trees in our yard and had a huge box full of apples. And so, to uh, doing all sorts of apple recipes. We did bourbon, uh, apple pulled pork in the slow cooker, did apple cinnamon muffins, apple cinnamon bread loaves, apple crisp. I did a um, cranberry pecan apple crisp. Nice twist to my classic old fashioned apple crisp. Super tasty. Okay, so that is mixed together well. I'm gonna grab a little plate. And we, oh, I forgot to add in my rosemary, friends. Let's add the rosemary in. I'm using very fresh rosemary straight from my pot on the front porch. Um, if you're gonna use dried rosemary, like from your little jar, I would do about two teaspoons. Um, using fresh, it's a little stronger, more potent, so I'm using just slightly less than that. Mix that in there. Okay, set that to the side. I grab my plate, my knife. Uh, we are going to cut our apple into cubes, and you want about uh, one and a fourth cups worth, maybe at least a cup of apple and you're just gonna leave the peel right on friends totally fine um we're gonna just finely chop it up you want small bite-sized pieces because you want your apple to complement the chicken and not overpower the chicken and we're gonna throw that right into our bowl so we've added the apple in i'm gonna grab some chopped pecans and we're gonna add about a third a cup of chopped pecans these are little pieces. Again, these cranberries, pecans, and apples are complementary flavors. They just add hints of deliciousness when you're eating your chicken salad sandwich. About a third cup of the cranberries. So dried cranberries. All right, we're gonna mix this together a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna toss it with the chicken. We're gonna go grab our croissants. You can totally use regular sandwich bread. I intentionally got the huge thing of croissants from Costco because we did the baked ham and cheese croissants and then we're going to do these chicken salads sandwiches so I'm going to use up the croissants nicely all right this is mixed together pretty well let's go grab our croissants all right and then we're going to just scoop our chicken salad onto our croissants this is packed with flavor of course protein healthy apple if you've got people in your family, it's hard to get them to eat their fresh fruit. Hello, kids. It's a great way to sneak in apple into their lunch. All right, perfect. Super excited to eat this croissant. It's gonna be delicious. Thank you all for watching us today. Be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't done so already so you get notified every time we have a new recipe video. We're also on Facebook and Instagram in the kitchen with Grace. And you can sit, pin and save our recipes on Pinterest as well. See you guys next time.